So a campus has got east, north, west, and south. That is general as we know it as our four cardinal points of direction. So today we're going to be talking about how to represent vectors in a campus direction. Stay tuned for this video. So first of all, last time we talked about how to represent vectors in on a graph, which is was the graphical representation on a bearing where we used zero degrees as north as a reference point. Today we're going to be talking about compass using cardinal points. So here I've got vector FA, which is 10 newtons at 30 degrees north of east. So it says here. 10 newtons vector number one or vector fa this is titled vector fa which is equals to 10 newtons so this is the magnitude or the size of the vector so the magnitude or the size of the vector is 10 newtons and it is saying that it is 30 degrees north of east 30 degrees north of east 30 degrees north of east. So this is 30 degrees north of east. So we just abbreviate it in this way. So here we're having a vector. So we know that the east is here. Here is the east. Here is the north. So now we know that it is north of east. So it is coming from the east going to the north. So that's what we know. So when they are saying that it is the north of east, we look at the east. And let's look at where is the north of the east. It's not the same as the east of the north. No, it is the north of the east. So it's just going to start from the east going towards the north. So we're just going to use what? A... We're just going to use a compass to be able to represent this. So this is our east and north. So we are having 30 degrees. So this is actually going to start from the east to the north. So let's check out using our protractor. So this is our protractor over here. We just position it in the same way. Why did we put zero degrees over there? Why did we, why is zero here? It is because they are giving us east as our first reference point. So it means that this is the north of east. So we are starting from east and we are counting 30 degrees. Let's go. 10, 20, 30 degrees. So this is the 30 degrees north of east line. So let's actually take the protractor away and draw our vector. So our vector must start Always the vector must start from the starting point or with, from the zero, zero line. So here, this is our vector of 10 newtons north of east. So this is actually 30 degrees. So this 30 degrees tells us that this vector is on the northern side of east. This is the east, so the vector is on the northern or at the northern side of the east. So let's look at vector number two. So the vector number two says that 8 newtons at 12 degrees west of south. So this is 12 newtons, 8 newtons I mean. So this is what? 8 newtons and says 12 degrees. So 12 degrees is just the compass reading. And then west of south so this is west of south w o s so we look at west and south first of all before we identify so let's look at where is west here is west here is south so here is south here here is west here it says west of south not south of west so this is the west of south so we look at the south so it means our vector is going to be starting from the south to the west so it's the west of the southern side which is 12 degrees so we're actually going to do what tilt our calculator to our our i mean our protractor to that so here Let's actually take our protector over here and let's actually tilt it, make sure that we have 12 degrees. Yes, this can actually give me 12 degrees. This can actually give me 12 degrees or let me just make it 90 degrees in this way. So here, if we're going to look from the southern side, uh, let me extend the page from the southern side. We start here where there's 90, and then this is 10, right? 
and then this is 12. Now this is 12 degrees from the what? From the southern line. Remember that our south in this case is our reference line. This is our reference point. So here, if we're going to draw the vector, we're going to make sure that it starts from the starting point here and make sure that it's here. So this means this is the vector which is 12 degrees the west of south. So our angle here is what? Is 12 degrees. So we've already represented the second vector, which is vector FB, which is equals to 10 newtons in magnitude. Uh, no, no, it's actually not 10 newtons. It's 8 newtons magnitude. So this is our second vector, which is actually 8 newtons. So we've represented again our vector. So this is actually talking about the direction of the vector as to exactly where is the vector headed or where is the vector situated. So we use the compass to represent that. So let's look at our third vector. So our third vector says that it is 5 newtons. So the 5 newtons is the magnitude or the size of the vector. So 5 newtons at 65 degrees north of west. So let's actually write it down. So it's vector FC. Fc says is equals to 5 newtons. So this is the magnitude of the vector, number one thing. Number two, it says 65 degrees. So this is the tilting, which is equals to 65 degrees. And then let's look at the direction. The direction says north of west. North of west. This becomes different from the first vector which we had, which is vector Fa, which was saying west or which we are saying, which we are saying north of east. So in this case, we have got five newtons, sixty-five degrees north of west. So let's look at north and west first of all. So it says north of west. So what we are going to look at is the western side first. So the west is here. Here is the west. So we look at the north of this west. So the north of this west is this one, the normal north you can see here. Therefore it says it is tilted 65 degrees over there. So we must make sure that our zero degrees is, our zero degrees on the compass is actually on the western side and we draw out our 65 degrees. So let's actually tilt this to zero degrees here and let's enlarge it a bit. Okay. So here we've got our protractor here, and then we make sure that we draw our 65 degrees from the west as our reference because it says north of west. So it means this begins at the western side going to the northern side. So what we have to do here, we have to draw our vector from this point, from this point which is zero degrees, and then go up with it for 65 degrees. You can see here we're at 50 degrees and then 60 and then 65. So our vector is actually going to be 65 degrees, which is the northern side of the western side. So if we're going to actually draw our vector here, we're going to be using a line from this starting point and make sure that it aligns with 65 degrees. And then we've already represented our three vectors using compass directions. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.